you guys. So this is everything that you'll need. A good quality blender, a scale, and that's optional, a big glass bowl, two one-quart glass mason jars, kitchen scissors, alkaline water or spring water, and some good quality raw sea moss. Link in the description box below. Let's get started. All right, so it's on gram, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it to ounces, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and put the bowl down. And then you're just gonna hit tear again, and it'll bring you to zero. So whatever you put in there, it'll tell you the exact amount of ounces. So this is the company that I'm using. It's a really good company. Sometimes it's hard to find a CMOS company that has good quality ingredients, and this one is a company that I can trust, and it's called Alkaline Herb Shop. So when you open the bag, this is what it looks like, okay? Yeah, look at this. Smells like the ocean, right? Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and put two ounces in here. So. And I'm going to do two servings. So instead of two ounces, I'm going to add four ounces. That's good. So that's close <laughs> enough. So we got four ounces of sea moss. Mm. So now I'm just going to go ahead and rinse it. I'm going to use spring water to rinse it. So I'm going to take it off of here. We're done with the scale, so we can just go ahead and turn the scale off. Okay. So I'm going to wash this two times. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some spring water. I'm just going to wash it. It looks like a sea anemone. I know, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know what kind of fish is swimming in there. <laughs> Drain it. It looks like some good spaghetti. And just clean it again. Make sure you really clean it. I think I see a tap hole. <laughs> so you're just gonna rinse it, rinse it, rinse it again. Okay. So now, after you rinse it twice, you see the water the second time is not as cloudy. So after you rinse it twice, you're just gonna get your spring water. And you're just gonna cover up the sea moss in the spring water. And I'm going to let it sit here for 24 hours. Okay, so you're just gonna let it soak. All right, look at the size of the sea moss. It doubled in size. Look at that, beautiful. So I'm just going to drain that water and rinse it one more time and it's ready to go in the blender. Now I have two mason jars because I am making two different infused sea moss, okay? So the first gel is gonna be infused with star anise, burdock root, and bladderwrack. Now with bladder rack, I couldn't find it in this form. This works as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brew these two together. Then when the liquid cools, I'm going to open up the bladder rack capsule and add that to it. And I'm going to use that liquid to blend half of my sea moss and that will be my first gel. The second gel, now this is for people that can't take that strong seaweed taste that you get from sea moss. Okay, for those that cannot take that taste, this one really helps hide that flavor. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and brew some hibiscus flour with ginger. Once that liquid cools, I'm gonna add the zest of a lemon and a lime and the juice of a lemon and a lime. Now that liquid I'm gonna to use to blend the other half of the sea moss. So that will give me two different sea moss gels. So whatever I'm gonna move for that day, I just take a spoonful of that and go ahead and bless my body. So I have my water boiling right now. So once I add my herbs to it, I'm going to turn off the water and just let it steep. So I'm gonna start off with the burdock, the star anise, I'm gonna put those two in. Once this is done brewing and I let it steep, then I'm going to add the bladder rack. Keep in mind that I couldn't find it in this form. So all I did was I just opened up all the capsules. And this is like half of this container. You can use the whole container if you want it to. So once this cools down, then I'll add that. So first I'm gonna add these two. So I'm gonna do about uh, three star anise. Okay. About three whole pieces. If you add those together, it'll be three. So I'm just gonna add those to the water, just like that. And I'm gonna add, let's do about half a cup of the burdock. I'm just gonna let it boil. I don't have a bag for that and it's okay because these are big pieces. 
so I'll be able to strain it easy. I'll probably do a cup. I'm gonna do a cup of burdock. I'm do so I'm gonna let it do its thing. Okay. So like I said, once this, I'm gonna turn off the heat and just let it steep. So I'm gonna turn off the heat, let it steep, okay? Then I'm going to strain it. So I'm gonna let it steep for about an hour. Then I'm going to strain it. If you want it to be super strong, you just let it steep overnight. Then I'm gonna strain it and then I'm going to stir in the burdock. And I'm gonna use that liquid to uh, blend up my sea moss. So the water that I'm using, spring water and alkaline water. So I just didn't have time to get more alkaline or more spring water. You could just use one, but I'm just gonna use both of them until they're done. Okay. So now I am going to work on this one. So on this one, I'm going to just go ahead and get my ginger and throw it in the water. With the hibiscus, you want to use a tea bag because it's gonna be hard to strain this one. So I do have a tea bag for this one. So I have my tea bag, an all natural tea bag, unbleached. I'm just gonna go ahead and use about half of this bag of hibiscus. So this bag is two ounces, so I did about an ounce. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it just like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it right here. Okay, get a top shot. So I'm just gonna add it in there with the ginger. And I'm gonna turn off the heat and just let it steep. So for both of these, I turned off the heat and I'm just letting it steep. So I'm gonna just let it sit there for about an hour. The same thing for our lime, and this is organic as well. Ooh, baby. Okay. Oh yeah. All right, so as you can see, both of these are not at a boil now. Now it's just steeping and it's getting really concentrated because there is liquid in it but it's not like a crazy amount of liquid so with clean hands i'm just going to drain the water that it was soaking in just like that and i washed it enough time so i don't need to wash it again so really simple i'm just going to divide this in half put half in the blender and then put my uh tea for my hibiscus first because I don't want the flavors to mix in with that heavy, strong flavors of the burdock in the bladder. So this is my hibiscus tea that I just put in this tea bag. Um, a whole bunch of citrus, so organic lemons, organic limes, and then I also have ginger in here. My hands are clean, you guys. So I let it steep, and I'm just gonna go ahead and strain it. And that's going to be my liquid for my sea moss. Yeah, so this is my lemon and lime juice with my lemon and lime zest. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my hibiscus tea that had the citrus in there, the ginger, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and add my sea moss. I'm only going to add about half of the sea moss because the other half is for um, my bladder rack. So I'm only going to add about half. Into the blender it goes. Okay, so now the liquid... I'm just gonna do about halfway. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this. I don't want it to be too watery. I want it to be somewhat thick. It's gonna thicken on its own, but I don't want it to be too thick. Now, when it comes to um, the Vitamix back up some, I like to have it on a low number. I always like to start off on a light low number so that I get a really good mix. I just let it sit there and just blend up, blend up, blend up. And then once I see that most of it has been chopped up, I will up the speed. And one thing that I meant to do um, in advance was chop up the seaweed some so that it helps with the blending process. And I have a good quality blender. So if you don't have a good quality blender, you definitely want to cut it up. So you 
you see how smooth this is so that's what you're going for so if you have a vitamix oh man it's going to come out really smooth if you don't have a vitamix it's i would do it in sections so that you can get that smooth consistency and then when you uh, refrigerate it it's also going to thicken up even more so if you want to add a little bit more water you can i did end up using all the liquid um from the tea and i also made sure i put the lemon zest in there so lemon zest was blended in there as well i'm just going to go ahead and transfer it to my uh, mason jar and this is a quart jar right here so i'm just going to transfer it and refrigerate it so this sea moss was not heated at all um I know some people like to boil the sea moss. I'm not a fan of that because I want to keep as much of the nutritional value as possible. Um, the only time heat really heat, uh, only time that heat really hits the sea moss is when I put it in the blender at a high speed, and that's not even really that hot. Okay, so I'm gonna just get my spatula so I can get all the goodies, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put the top on. The, my high school teacher calls this the penny pincher because you get all your money's worth when you bring the spatula to the party. So I have to switch to that spatula so I can get all the bits out of there because this is good quality stuff and you just don't want it to go down the drain, okay? You wanna get every bit of that. So this is going to be the stronger tasting one. This has bladder rag, burdock, and star anise. This one's gonna be easy to strain because the particles are just so thick, okay? So I went ahead and I just strained it. Got some goodies, you wanna squeeze it, get all that water out. My hands are clean, okay? It smells so good, so earthy. I love this smell. And look at the star knees. All right, so this is about um, half of a quart. So it's just about a pint of liquid. If I need more, I have some alkaline water or you can use um, spring water. So what I didn't do with the first one that I meant to do was get kitchen shears and just chalk away so that the blending process is that much more easier and it's less work on your blender and everyone doesn't have a Vitamix. Vitamixes are very pricey. It is an investment, but it's definitely worth it. Um, so if you don't have a Vitamix, you need to chop this up because this would just take forever in a regular blender. So. So this right here, since I'm only using half of that four ounce for this, this is two ounces of sea moss that has been um, soaked overnight. So this is how big, how much volume came. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just fill it up halfway. And I always start on low and I work my way up from there. So you gotta have some patience, let it break up, let it, let it do its thing. Okay, so don't forget if you did buy the bladder rack in capsule form, don't forget to put it in there. Almost forgot, and I was like, hold up, wait, there's something else I need to add to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the powder to it. There we go. Boom, and blend away. Okay. All right, so I slowly increase the speed, and then I slowly just add a little bit of that tea mixture in there, just little by little, I just a little section. And this helps with it becoming a smooth, homogeneous mixture. Look at how smooth that is. And it's going to turn into a really nice gel once it sits in the fridge. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my mason jar. Okay. I end up adding a lot of water with this one. So this one is going to give me more than just one quart. All right, that is it, you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and refrigerate it. It's gonna turn into a nice gel. I'm gonna take a spoonful a day from each one, or you can just alternate whichever one you wanna use that day. Um, the dark green one is bladderwrack, burdock, and star anise. And the red one is hibiscus tea, citrus, and also ginger. So go ahead and play around and have fun with it.